hello lovely people welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to work on a plastic canvas with your crochet hook yes yeah, so if you're new here my name is Sungi, and if you like what i do please do subscribe and turn on your notification bell right so this bag this canvas is originally for a bag but i decided to make it into a mat because the bag is quite small and i didn't like how small it was so i'm just making it into a a mat so i'll just show you the basic technique of how to work on a, a canvas okay so let's just get right into the video right so the first thing that we're going to do we're going to take our yarn and we want to do a slip knot so i'm holding my yarn like this i'm going to wrap it going upwards to form an x and i'll just let it drop the other side to form two lines so now what i'm going to do i'm going to take the one that i'm just holding it sideways take the one in front i'll push it to the back like this after pushing it to the back i'm going to grab the one that's now at the front and i'm just going to hold on to that release my fingers then pull like this so this is how we do a slip knot after that i'm going to put my crochet hook right so for this project i'm working with a 1.9 millimeter hook but you can work with um a small size hook even a two millimeter works because my holes they're fairly big right so after uh, making my slip knot, I'm just going to put my hook close to my canvas. I'm going to insert in, sorry, I'm going to insert in the first hole like this. So there's this small yarn here. We want to be carrying that yarn. So now what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be do sing, to be doing single crochet. So I'm going to grab my yarn, come out of that hole with it so that now i have two 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 loops on my hook or two yarns on my hook then i'm going to i'm going to grab my yarn and pass that yarn through both of those two loops like this and that is a single crochet so i'm going to go into the next hole insert my hook right grab some yarn come up with it so that you have two hook, two two loops on your hook, and I'm carrying the small yarn here. After that, I'm going to do a single crochet, and that's passing through both those two two loops. I'm just going to do it one more time. Insert my hook into the next hole, right? Grab some yarn, come up with it like this. Grab some yarn and pass that yarn through both those two loops. One and two like this so i'm going to do single crochets all the way around so when you when i get to the corner here when i do my last single crochet on this line like this i'm also going to do another single crochet at this uh hole again so in this the at your corners you're going to have two single crochets in your corners so let me quickly do that and i come back Okay, so I've reached the end of this line. I'm going to turn it. And I'm also going to do another single crochet. I just started to show you. In that very same stitch on the corner. That's how I'm turning. Then I'm going to do single crochets as normal. So let me do single crochet all around and I come back when I'm at the spot again. Okay, so we've gone round the whole canvas so we're now at the last stitch so i'm going to insert my hook i'll do another single crochet like this right so now we want to join it i'm going to put my hook under the first single crochet like this grab some yarn pass it under there and it comes out so that you have two loops and i'm going to slip stitch so i'm going to slip this one into this one like this right after that I'm going to chain one like this and I cut my yarn then pull right so I'm close so now I'm going to go around with the same I'm going to do another slip slip knot right I've done my slip knot here so what I want to do I want this loop here I want it to be in on top so I'm going to take my hook I'm going to put my hook on that loop and 
I will come up with that loop like this right so I've got my long yarn and my short yarn right so we're here so now what I'm going to do I'm going to put my hook into the next loop like this and at the back I'm going to grab this one grab it and come up with it like this so that you have two loops like this but now we're not doing single crochets we're doing slip stitches so I'm going to slip this one the one in front this one into this one like this like that I'm going to go into the next box or the next hole I'm going to grab yarn again come up with that yarn so that I have two loops like this and these two loops I'm going to slip the one in front this one into this one like this right so I'm going to slip stitch until I get to the end of this line So that's all that I'm going to be doing. So let me quickly st slip stitch until I get to the end and I come back. Okay, I'm at the very last hole. Grab my yarn. Grab my yarn. I do a slip stitch. After this, I cut my yarn. After cutting my yarn, I'm just going to pull my yarn like this so I'm going to repeat this whole line here two more times so I'm going to put a different color on the second one on the second row and I'll put I'll repeat again for the third so I'm going to do two more rows like that I'm also going to do the same on this other side so let me quickly do that and I'll come back okay so I've done one two three on this side and I've also one done three on the side right so where we started the yarns will be automatically at the bottom but like where we are finishing our yarns are like on top so we're just going to hook our yarns and put them to the back okay so so to save time and to make it easier on the explanation I've already done one part and this is the last part so the last part you do one half with one color and another half with another color so what we're simply doing we are still doing the slip stitches so we yeah. already done my slip knot here i'm going to put my hook inside and i'm going to grab that put it inside my slip knot and bring it to the top like this right so now I'm going to start to do in the next part. I'm going to insert my hook, grab the yarn from the bottom, bring it up, and slip stitch. Right, I'm going to do slip stitches. So, depending on your canvas, you have to count half. You take the longer side of your canvas, you count half. For example, mine is 56. It is 56 boxes, so I counted 28 boxes. So now after you slip stitch like this, you're going to slip stitch going around. Then you go down. Then you just follow. You keep following it like this. So it will make form this puzzle like thing until you get to the very end. So let me just quickly slip stitch until I get here. Then I'll show you how to turn. So when you get to the end, to your 28th box you're just going to turn sorry yeah what's happening here okay you're just going to turn in the next box and you continue so nothing special that's all that we're going to be doing and you continue what you call it slip stitching and here you just follow the pattern when you get to this point you turn when you get to this point you turn you continue doing that so I'm not gonna show this on video I'll quickly do it then I'll show you guys how we're going to tuck in this um, extra loose yarns put 
pull it to the back the same here just grab it pull it to the back like this so now all our threads are literally at the bottom so now the only thing that's left now is to tuck them in so I'll just show you how to tuck one then you can do the rest on your own so to tuck your extra yarns that are sticking out you take a needle so what you're just going to do you're just going to put it under this like this Put it under there. You can do it at least six times. This is three. This is four. This is five. And six. This should be enough. Then you just cut the excess um, yarn. Okay. And then you just cut your excess yarn. So that is what we're going to do to tuck all these extra yarns here. You're just going to sew them inside your thingy. Like this. So that's it for me. This is how you um, make this, what you call it, how you work on this. Let me come here like this. So we work on your on your canvas, right? So I'm going to tuck in. If you want to make it a bag, you can just fold it into a bag. But I don't want. I'm just gonna keep it like this, right? Then I'm just gonna use it around my house. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much. And please do subscribe and turn on your notification bell. Okay. Bye bye.